What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. Now, caught up in the news cycle over the last two weeks, there have actually been a ton of reports from separate industry insiders and separate sources sort of cooperating each other about the upcoming Captain Marvel 2, its secret invasion storyline, and perhaps its place as an Avengers-style crossover event. While that's not a title we're quite comfortable with here at the channel, and we'll explain why, we're going to break down all of the industry insider reports, talk about where they came from and what they're saying about the upcoming secret invasion for Captain Marvel 2, the new characters to be introduced, and of course the new major villain, the big bad for this film, and how there will be a major change from his Fantastic Four origins to Spider-Man. Like I said, we're going to break down all the reports for Captain Marvel 2 Secret Invasion, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel-related stuff, including this insane one-fourth scale XM Studio Beta Ray Bill, as well as our third Infinity Saga box set. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Now, as you might have noticed in the title or caught it mentioned many times in the prologue, the Captain Marvel 2 storyline or subtitle is apparently going to be Secret Invasion, and that means Captain Marvel and whomever from the Avengers or other superhero teams. Note that I say other other superhero teams should join her on this adventure. They'll be facing off against none other than the Skrulls. Now, there was an original anonymous industry inside report from Roger Wardell going months back that said perhaps it would be the Badoon, and we've even reported on here at the channel there was a strong possibility it might be the Brood, but now knowing that it's a secret invasion storyline and what that means from the comics, it's definitely going to be the Skrulls, and when you think about all of the Skrulls, there's only one in particular who's the baddest of them all, in Super Scroll. But before we get to that, the first report comes from none other than industry insider Mikey Sutton through an exclusive on a different YouTube channel here on the platform explaining the introduction point from none other than Nova will indeed be Captain Marvel 2 and that sort of piggybacked off the anonymous report the week before coming from a different publication that Captain Marvel 2 would have a ton of Star Wars vibes. And that's why Nova would play right into this film as an epic cosmic adventure and remember I said members from other teams, it's been heavily rumored that Nova will actually go on to feature and become a member of the new Guardians of the Galaxy after Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is released, and that team apparently will end. We'll get into more on that later, but this will not only be the introduction point for Nova, according to Mikey Sutton, but Spider-Man will play heavily into this film, and when he does, there will be a major change to Super Scroll based on Spider-Man, well, for obvious reasons. Look, this movie is going to be a predecessor to Fantastic for. They're not going to get that film out before Captain Marvel 2, and when they do, if they introduce Super Scroll, his main powers were to emulate the Fantastic Four. That's why he was sent to Earth from the comics in the first place. Of course, if we don't have a Mr. Fantastic, if we don't have a Human Torch, if we don't have the thing, then he can't mimic those powers. So whose powers will he indeed mimic? And according to Mikey Sutton, believe it or not, the Super Scroll won't be mimicking the Fantastic Four, but indeed mimicking Spider-Man, which is a huge, huge departure from his original power set and his place as a villain for the Fantastic Four. I could believe that they're introducing him during this film alongside the other scrolls to possibly go on to feature against the Fantastic Four down the road, but when you think about all of the big bads left to be introduced during Marvel Phase 4 and 5, the place the Mandarin is going to take, of course, Doctor Doom, we've talked about it at length, there's really only so much room for certain villains and a villain like Super Scroll who doesn't have as story to past as you would think compared to some others like Doctor Doom which have shown up in multiple runs and multiple integral storylines in the Marvel Universe it's hard to see just how much the super villain would feature past the Secret Invasion film. Now speaking of Secret Invasion when you already know that they're shape-shifting aliens that can't be the reason that they infiltrated your government and since we've already used that inside the Marvel Cinematic Universe they're gonna have to figure out a way that 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 becomes a huge problem for people on Earth, and of course I said people on Earth because that's bringing me to my most important theory. Think about it. They wanted to keep the scrolls' identities hidden as long as possible. That's why nobody knew that there was a scroll sitting in for Nick Fury for all that time, including Peter Parker himself. In fact, they've kept this a complete secret 
hopefully having them work on the sword base. So you could easily have them infiltrating down on Earth if people weren't paying attention because not everybody would even know about these scrolls in the first place. But I kept seeing people down on Earth and I specifically meant superheroes and this is where the rub sort of happens. Yeah, we've already had Spider-Man in space. Marvel Studios sent him there as soon as they could and a huge departure pun totally intended for the way Spider-Man had been played before. Then you have the introduction of Nova and when you think about the sword base in the Agents of Sword television show, this is definitely going to be a cosmic epic. And when it's going to be a cosmic epic, it's going to starkly leave out, yes, another pun intended, Marvel puns everywhere, those Avengers which are ground-based. Think back to a specific interview with Kevin Feige immediately following the 2019 San Diego Comic-Con release where he was asked about what the next huge crossover event is. And he said that he hoped over Marvel Phase 4 and 5 that they would be leading to two different and distinctive things and that he hoped it would feel like for the audience two distinctive things. That's going to happen and we're going to start to see the groundwork laid for what's going on basically on the Earth-based side during the upcoming Black Widow. This definitely sounds like the cosmic side and so calling this a major crossover event, even an Avengers movie on the scale of Civil War, which was something that was reported at by the direct, or now what's rather the direct beta, is a little hard to swallow considering it's going to be leaving half of the main Avengers outlook. I can't think of it as an Avengers film unless you're including the brand new Captain America, and it's also hard to see Falcon having a place in a cosmic-based adventure. That's why there's definitely a disparity in the power set for this brand new team and or teams, and they're going to have to face different villains to highlight those power sets. Now, we all think what's going on down on the Earth-based threat is leading into the Thunderbolts, Thunderbolt Ross pulling the strings behind the scenes, and we'll start to see that groundwork laid in the upcoming Black Widow, possibly leading to the formation of that team, but definitely becoming a threat somewhat as far as the Red Hulk down the road and what's going on with that side of the Avengers. It's going to be quite different than a full-on scroll invasion out in outer space. And of course, some of that will take place on Earth, and that's probably where you'll find Spider-Man. And could Falcon and the Winter Soldier, some of these other characters, be involved? Of course, especially if the scrolls are infiltrating the government and the Avengers down on Earth. But more likely the case, like we heard from before, an anonymous source that this is going to have serious Star Wars vibes, it's going to be a space epic. And when it is, it's going to leave characters like Falcon out. And to me, you can't really call this a civil war. Granted, they didn't have Hulk in Civil War. They didn't have Thor in Civil War either. And that's a third of the original team. Still, you can't call this a civil war event because I'm doubting there'll be that many heroes involved on that scale. And of course, Civil War implies the infighting between the two of them. Captain Marvel hasn't really gone on to take her place as an Avenger yet. And unless they're going to take time to set that up, in a different film somewhere on the Phase 4 slate, which it would be hard to see where that is, it's going to be very weird to have her being an Avenger all of a sudden in that film. I think more likely the case, she may find one or two commonalities among some Avengers. Apparently one of them will be Spider-Man, and those are the characters we'll see a ton during that film possibly nowhere near the scale of Civil War with as many heroes as that involved. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. Do you think it's a little weird to bring the scrolls back after we've already dealt with them in Captain Marvel? And do you think the introduction of Nova makes a lot of sense during this film? How do you feel about Super Scrolls power set possibly being changed to mimic Spider-Man? That just feels a lot like Taskmaster as well. They're going to have to do a lot here to differentiate that and make us understand what a threat he is. And I think there's something to that him being introduced during that film, but then going on to feature against the Fantastic Four down the road. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below, and quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which is at the 700,000 subscriber mark. All you have to do to be entered to win, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and that'll automatically enter you to win all the rest of the prizes here at the channel, like this insane 1 4th scale XM Studios Beta Ray Bill. If you're not familiar with collectibles like these, this is in no way an action figure standing at almost a full 3 feet tall, 30 inches. This is an immaculately sculpted museum quality representation 
adaptation of the character as well as our third Infinity Saga box set. Now we've already given away two here at the channel and if you're not familiar with these, they were limited in 4,000 to pre-order last year and they were sold out literally the day they got released. As soon as they were shipped the following year, which was this calendar year, they absolutely skyrocketed in value. We've received our third one here at the channel to give away. All you have to do to be entered to win if you want to win the PlayStations, the Beta Ray Bill, or this third Infinity Saga box set to be given away this holiday season, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button, then hit that notification bell with notifications turned on, leave a like and a comment on this video, and because it's truly random, the more videos you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos, the same way we're doing here. And if you've missed any of those previous winner announcements, no worries, all you have to do, scroll back to the channel, look for the winner announcement in the sub count in the title, click on that video and scroll to the end. My name is Michael Roman, this is everything always, guys, thanks so much for checking out the channel and stick around, we'll be posting again real, real soon.